Morning guys, it's uh, Saturday uh, the 8th maybe, I forget what day it is, Saturday anyways, just doing another hydroponic update, um, stuff is still growing pretty crazy, we've been cutting back lots, we had uh, some rapini the other day with some uh, olive oil and garlic and some butter, kind of sautéed, that was pretty good. Um, I left some of the woodier stalks on next time. I won't I'll cut most of this thick stuff off But uh, that was the first time I've cooked it. So um, I've had it before but never cooked it before so uh, You learn that way. It was pretty good. We had some lettuce on some burgers this past week um, Last weekend as well we had pizza with uh, a bunch of arugula and you can see that it's just coming back You can't even tell we cut uh, the Swiss char, I don't know what to do with it. I've uh, <laughs> actually just cut a bunch of it off and gave it to the chickens and it looks like they have it cleaned up. So we may just uh, keep cutting it and giving it to the chickens. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> the Dutch buckets, while well, they're doing all right still. Um, it looks like things are starting to move. The uh, cucumbers got a bunch of flowers now. There's, there was five or six the other day. Um, so I think uh, we'll definitely get some fruit out of there. I may have to uh, Screw something onto the back so that I can build a bit of a trellis up I'm not sure if I'll do it the whole way or if I'll just put two uprights or three uprights and then run some rope across So that I can uh, get these guys to go up peppers are starting to come along They're uh, they're starting to grow now They're uh, definitely behind the ones in the dirt but these were also ones that when I planted out here, they were, you know, like an inch and a half tall. They probably shouldn't have been planted out here yet, but they're, uh, they are doing all right. Tomatoes are coming along. You can see there's lots of new growth almost every day. I've been uh, cutting the suckers off. Missed a couple, but, you know, we'll do what we can do. I'm not a gardening expert, and I don't really uh, spend a lot of time gardening, so... Uh, since we're on the deck, that's the asparagus. We got another shoot that just shot up in the last, oh, I don't know, probably two days. There's a couple more in there. There's another one back here. This stuff uh, is pretty cool. It grows really fast. It's, uh, I don't think it's as fast as bamboo or anything like that, but uh, it can hold its own. We'll give these weeds to the chickens. They like that stuff. These are uh, some more rapini. They're the ones that the chickens just destroyed. Um, it, they're actually rebounding quite well. It's uh, most of what it's in there is uh, vermipost or worm castings, anyways. And uh, it's pretty rich in nutrients, so I think they're going to have a heyday in there. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Everything's growing well. We've been harvesting from the the deep water culture. That does really well. Like I said in the, the other videos, I'm definitely doing that again. Um, oh, I forgot to show the basil. It's starting to come along. The bugs have been getting into it, so I've been uh, looking underneath and trying to trying to get rid of some of the bugs. This one's really doing well. This one's just shot right up in the last little while. So. Some sort of bug. I don't know if it's coming in or not. But yeah, it's uh, it's doing really well. We got some more, a uh, few more seeds started. I did some lettuce. A couple lettuce, a couple spinach, and a couple more rapini. And there, uh, you can see there's some white starting in there, so, well, maybe you can't. Yeah, there's, you can see it in there. And a couple other ones are starting, so. Won't be long now, and they'll, uh, they'll replace some of the, some of the plants in there. I might, uh, I might pull the basil out. I'm not really sure why we did basil. We don't love it. Um, I'll probably let it grow for another couple weeks, and then, uh, Maybe just do up some some pesto. I mean, we don't even like pesto, so uh, we'll see what we do. We could always uh, uproot it and stick it in the uh, 
in the uh, dirt garden that might be a bit of an option for us but uh, yeah I'm just gonna throw some weeds in for my chickens they uh, they like the weeds you can see they had uh, well maybe you can't I'm not sure you can see that there's some watermelon right to uh, right about there some old corn on the cob husks and uh, stuff they like that hey red like the chickens they clean up a lot of scraps for us but anywho that's the hydroponics uh, we'll get this up maybe later today tomorrow that's that is number four the other one was actually number three and I uh, I did it all uh, I edited it all and did number four checkup and uh, or update and uh, I seen that that was wrong so um, thanks for watching it's truly appreciated um, if you don't do hydroponics consider it next for next year it's uh, pretty easy the stuff grows like crazy and uh, it's pretty cheap I think I built that whole table for about 50 bucks maybe at the most probably 50 bucks with the uh, nutrients so it's uh, worth it you could definitely find um, materials for free somewhere you know you need one two three four five maybe six two by fours and two two by six that you could always use two by two uh, two by fours again i just use some vapor barrier as my liner because um, i like to use that when i'm skinning animals it's uh, nice and thick so you don't have to worry about scratching a hole and then the goodies blood and stuff leaking out so um, yeah do it do a hydroponics maybe not the dutch bucket because that's a little not complicated but there's a bit more involved in that but the uh, deep water culture you know you could uh, you could just use a tub a rubber made cut a couple holes you know maybe four or six holes put your net pots in and grow that's it do it it's fun and uh, you get some good veggies We'll see you later.